Right? That, that'd be Sonic Forces completed in one stream. Let's go. <laughs> Just one stream. It's like a Warriors like <laughs> Nah, they just kind of incorporate it, because, like, Eggman takes over the world, and then every time you do a stage, you get more territory back. Until you just complete the game. It's just, it's just a wacky gimmick they put in there. That doesn't really mean anything, but it's just there. It's just a percentage bar, for the most part. But... Eh. <laughs> um. What's... I don't, I don't know. I'm, the, I'm blanking on words to say right now. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to think of content, but my brain not thinking. It's doing bad at that at the moment. <laughs> Brain cells are have stopped. <laughs> Maybe this is what Sonic Forces does to people. I don't know. <laughs> Head Cannon Forces is the Chronicle sequel. <laughs> Did they ever like follow it Chronicles up in like other media? Like oh wait, no no no, they wouldn't have been able to even if they wanted to. Cause Ken Penders. Yeah. Yeah, no, that ge that game is probably just completely non-canon at this point. Although it's not the only game that's in a state like that. Uh, because technically Sonic 4 is in that state too, where it ends on a cliffhanger, and there's no plans to finish that cliffhanger. So... Yeah. I don't I don't know I don't know if that game's canon anymore or not. They might just not consider that game canon now. Possibly. Wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that game's part of the canon anymore. I can't. I can't think of a way it would be unless they just assume. Yeah, Sonic just beat Eggman afterwards. They he went back and finished it all up. It's it's done. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's no extra real plot there. Just yeah, you know, cliffhanger. But then Sonic wins. That that's that's what happened. Yeah, I do really wonder, though, like, if they would have completed both of those games, like, what would they have done? Like, what would the end of Sonic 4 look like? Would it have actually started becoming good? And what a Chronicles 2 would have looked like would have been interesting. Because if they kept going with it, they definitely would have refined a Sonic RPG game. Over time, I could see that getting refined quite well, and that could be a pretty cool series. Yeah, I, I, I watched, like, a video, apparently, that, like, showed what some plans were for it. Like, they, apparently, they, were, they, they had, like, plans that could work for, like, a mul even more games than just two, I think. Like, they had some prepared backup, like, back lore for some reasons of why things happened in the first game and all some other things. Like, it's quite, it was quite interesting. Just sucks that they couldn't go through with it. Although, I don't even know, like, did, would this, did the first game even sell enough to warrant them making a sequel if, like, they didn't have any of that legal problems. Like, I don't know how well the game actually sold entirely. 
How well did Sonic Chronicles? Uh, sell. Thirty to thirty nine thousand copies worldwide compared to Sonic Rush's two point three mil. <laughs> oh boy, that's those are oh. <laughs> Unless, like, these are outdated numbers. Because this does seem like this might have been out when, like, the game- around the time the game was available. Maybe those numbers got better. Because that's 2018? Actually, no, that's probably still... past- wait, when did Sonic Chronicles come out? What did Sonic Chronicles? Sonic... Chronicles. When did you release? 2008. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, if those are the actual numbers. Even if we're assuming 39,000. That's rough. When, like, one of your Sonic, other Sonic games on the console sold freaking 2 mil. Like, that's rough. <laughs> That's really freaking rough. Right, I'm gonna see if the Wikipedia has a spot that says sales numbers, though. Rather than looking at a forum. Probably because gameplay and trailers didn't look good. Mm. Alright. Oh, oh gosh. Japan only had 2,100 sales total. Oh, within the first week. It sold 7,500 total. There was a moment it was the 10th best-selling Nintendo DS game, though, in North America. It was the 10th at one point. You know, that's, that's, that's great, you know, game releases and you, new, new Sonic game and it could only get to 10th bestseller. For the DS, like that's only DS, by the way, that's 10th out of all DS games. Not all games, just DS games. <laughs> I mean, depends on the competition at the time. Like, if other good games released at the time, then sure, that's not too bad. But if, like, there's nothing else around the time and it only reached 10th, oh gosh. Apparently, whatever sold in the United States, I'm guessing, wasn't fully said, though. Which is interesting. Hmm. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't even know if that game would have gotten a, a sequel, even if the whole shenanigan stuff didn't happen. Because if it didn't sell well, what reason do they have to make another? Like... Yeah. I mean, th there's definitely potential there. I'd give it that. Heck, Forces, I'd say, has had really good freaking potential. To be a great Sonic game, it's just... 
They didn't take it far enough. Oh yeah, Secret Ring sold really well. Secret Ring sold extremely well, because we, Sonic game. Like, you don't need more than that. That That's just rinse money. Well, the fact it's the first Sonic game. So, it was your only option. Sonic Chronicles, on the other hand, you had Rush out at the same time. So, like, if you wanted a Sonic game, you heard Rush is probably pretty good. And then Chronicles, probably not what you're looking for. Like, a Sonic RPG is probably something you're only interested in if you are a Sonic fan. To be honest. Need to replay Secret Rings if I could find my copy. I actually just recently ordered Secret Rings off eBay. It's actually shipping right now. <laughs> Speaking of that game. So I'll soon be an owner of Sonic and the Secret Rings. And I'd practically, in a sense, have every single Sonic game physical on the Wii. Technically. Uh, I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, but I don't have colors, so like technically I don't, but like I do have colors ultimate, so I do have the game, but yeah. Sea Ring takes a while to get good. Bosses are fun though. Sea Rings is great. Uh, I've heard it's all right. The song is great in Secret Rings. Yeah, I do like the music that I've heard. Uh, although I can see, because uh, I know the main song, Seven Rings in Hand, is the freaking menu music. So, <laughs> yeah, from what I hear, that, that song gets annoying when you're actually playing through the game. <laughs> but yeah, I just hope the motion controls aren't so jank. I've heard pe some people... They click with well, others, they can't get the motion controls down. And also, yeah, that that's whack. The fact that you gotta unlock better movement to make the game control better. You gotta unlock better controls. Ah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I listen to the 10 hour repeat of songs on YouTube. I mean, I am one person that can listen to songs over and over again and still enjoy it. Assuming I enjoyed the song the first time around. A motion plus remote might help with the motion control. I don't think games use it. Um, like, I don't think it helps with motion control if, like, the game didn't actually implement it. I think it needs to actually, like, be implemented, the motion plus, into the game, or else the game can't use its improvements. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Certain bosses of Dark Souls and Elder Ring that I know are gonna be like six plus hours of deaths. Oh boy. On goes one of those loop songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That or you just play like a playlist of songs. Yeah, it took me a while. I'm assuming that's a Souls boss. I haven't played any Souls games yet. They're on the, like, plan of a series to check out at some point. Give at least one of them a try. But the amount of games that'll happen before that... Well, let's just say I'm not playing a Souls game anytime soon. <laughs> Especially with one of the games being before it being a Xenoblade frickin' Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
And if I like it, Xenoblade, I might go play the whole frickin' series back to back. Who knows? But, yeah. Frickin' backlogs suck. And then here I am playing a game again. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's a game I can beat in one stream and then I'm playing again, but, you know. It's fine. <laughs> Still, I'm repeating games rather than focusing on the backlog. I should probably focus on the backlog. <laughs> and then there's me playing Genshins too. Which, or, not Genshins? Did I just call gotchas Genshins? What the frick me? <laughs> then there's me playing gotchas, you know? Games that never freaking end. <laughs> And then I'm also interested in playing Final Fantasy XIV, which also will never freaking end. <laughs> so that could be, uh, fun, in quotes. Xenoblade next. Uh, don't stream those gotcha. I mean, yeah, I play Genshin. And World Flip. Genshin and World Flip, those are all kind of just my own time games. <clears throat> Every once in a while, there's a possibility I might do a Genshin stream. If, like, I need, like, to be, like, chill at a point. Because, like, if ever I were to do, like, a late night stream, I don't think I could do games like this. Like, new games. And when I did stream Genshin, like, it was kind of easy to be quiet-ish, so. That could be, like, a game I play if I have to stream late a day, and, like, my siblings are already asleep, or, like, they will go asleep during the time I'm streaming. I'd kind of want something like that, something I can kind of just grind a little bit, and not have, like, any exciting moments that I have to, like, pop off about for content, you know? <laughs> Plus, like, it would norm- it wouldn't be, like, that good of a stream in that case, because I'd have to be quiet, so I'd prefer a game where I'm not, like, recording the content to upload to YouTube, because I- I- I don't- streams like that, I don't upload them to YouTube. That- that is Twitch exclusive, so you gotta be here, you know? If you want to see that content, you just gotta be here. Or watch it on the Twitch VOD before it vanishes from existence. Those are your two options. <laughs> yeah. If I ever feel the whatever I feel the mood to stream, that's what I'll stream. <laughs> At any given time. <laughs> And some in the Twilight Strange Forces. <laughs> Cause I'm just, I was just curious how I'd feel about going through the game again. And... It's not terrible. It's just a... Painfully mid game, I guess is probably the best way to go about it. It's not bad, but it's not great either. It's just in the middle. So, like, it's just, like, why would you... There's better options to play compared to it. And it's not, like, bad in a way where it's, like... Sonic 06 levels where it's, like, freaking... <laughs> you can just laugh at how bad it is constantly. World Flipper would be cooler to watch than Genshin. I... I disagree... I disagree a lot because um that game is just auto shenanigans. Like nine nine times out of ten, you're just autoing content. Like sure, I could not auto, but it doesn't like improve how better I'm fighting. Yeah, we can watch the game with the stream. 
full on just chatting. I mean, it could be like a just chatting type stream with it just kind of in the corner to just watch, like, have something gameplay wise to watch rather than just looking at my character's face. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna swap to uh, the other thing real quick. Let's do this. Get rid of this. And also do this. <laughs> swap to this for now, because we don't really care about game. It'll just be title screen. <laughs> Uh, let's close it down too. I don't need it on. Yeah. When I do go back to S, like, it, I mean, I'll do episode shadow and then we'll, I might S rank a couple stages. And then maybe just see how I feel if I want to S rank everything or not. <laughs> or I'll do episode shadow and then probably all the special stages we got so far. Because I know we got a couple, we unlocked a few of those. So those would be like newish content rather than just repeating a stage. I don't know if we'll get a, <laughs> I don't know if we'll get a third forces stream though. It'll probably be just. Just, just, just the second, and whatever I get done there, like, that's, that's it. That's all you get, content of forces. Don't force yourself, s rank classic stages. I will not. I do not want to. I don't freaking care about classic Sonic. He can, uh, go not exist. <laughs> I don't like forces classic Sonic. It's terrible. It's slippery as heck. I don't, I just, no, it's too, and then the spin dash is terrible, and then the momentum is non-existent, there is no momentum, <laughs> you don't get speed from going downhill, it's just, it's so bad, classic Sonic's so bad at forces, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> You want to chat after stream? Uh, probably can, yeah. Don't think I got anything I need to do. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I just gotta eat dinner, of course. But, yeah. The, I, I just, I feel like, with, like, I don't understand why they didn't just copy Generations Classic. Like, they had a formula that worked. Sure, it wasn't true-ish too classic, but... Uh... At least it had something fun about it. Like, just the, the overpowered spin dash is just fun as heck. I mean, luckily we still technically get an overpowered spin dash-like thing in this game, but it's on the <laughs> custom avatar with the drill ability. So, like, I don't have a reason to play freaking Classic Sonic. <laughs> when I have custom avatar that has 2D segments that does everything I'd want Classic Sonic to do. Which is why I honestly would say it would have been a better game if they just cut the classic Sonic entirely and just made more levels for normal and Avatar. Would have been great. <laughs> would have been great. Watch you stream Penny's Big Breakaway when it comes out. What is that? I haven't heard a thing about that. I don't even know what that is. Don't know what that be. Uh, I could look it up though. And he's big breakaway. Oh, it's that. I see. I see what you. Uh, I okay. <laughs> I I forgot the title of it. 
I, 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 it's the, the, the Mania Team's yo-yo game. I see. <laughs> I see. Uh, sometime, or, sometime during 2024. 20, okay. Yeah, just depends on what games are around at the time. If I'm in the middle of a game or not. Was like another thing is like while streaming like a game when it comes out is nice and like kind of like the hype moment to do it i feel like it's not the best time to stream a game as a small streamer because you kind of just get buried <laughs> you're not gonna be found because you're just there's just hundreds of people streaming the game at the time. I mean, I don't know if that's a game that will have hundreds of people streaming it. I don't know how big it is that people will want to, like, watch streams of it and stream it themselves. No clue. But. Yeah, I, I kind of like playing, like, games after the fact. Because then, like, you kind of find those people that just really like a game. And, like, end up finding your stream just because you're that one guy that's actually streaming it <laughs> at a time. Which is, I don't know, I, I, I always enjoy those kind of people that come in. It's kind of neat. They usually don't stay very often. I mean, we've, ha we've had a couple that stayed for a bit, and we have one that stayed for a very long bit and is still still here. <laughs> That'd be John Game, and they, they'd be chilling. They came, they came because I was streaming Hyrule Warriors and they, they've just been chilling with me since and I've been, I've been enjoying their company. <laughs> I don't think they're here right now though because they left earlier. They might be lurking it again, I don't know, but they were here earlier in the stream. But yeah, they said, they, they said they, that they came because I was just the one guy streaming that game. I've been stuck with you for years now. Yeah. Back in the good old DL days. Good old Dragalia Lost. How we miss it. I'm still bummed that I didn't like stream during a time during the time Dragalia was out. I would have loved to do like Dragalia grind streams. I, that, that, that just, it would have been fun, but the problem is I just, I wouldn't be able to set it up in a way I want, because if I were to do that, what I need is two phones. I would need two phones for that, because I need the tracking phone, and then I need a phone to play the game. <laughs> Known you for a while, I started watching your streams when you moved to Twitch-ish. Yeah, there, there are a couple people too that watch me. Oh, that when I did random stream things on reality, which is just like another. It's like a if you don't know what reality is, it's just kind of a VTuber app thing where you can kind of just use it. It has its own character creator. Uh. And you just make your own little VTuber avatar in it, and then you can do streams within said app. Yeah, those are good times. I still remember him helping me with my first clear in freaking high Midgard. Back when there was only the one difficulty. And like, I remember using freaking Verica with like the four star heal staff. Because, like, I couldn't do enough damage to clear, but, like, you know, you just needed a healer that did heals. You didn't need to be max-built healer. So he was able to carry me through that. I don't know why that's the most memorable moment. That, like, stream moment I had 
um, with the fault watching his streams. Words, words are freaking hard. Ugh. Getting Sonic Superstars news this Tuesday. Hey, nice. I wonder if they'll give us a exact release date because we don't we don't have an exact date now, right? I don't think we have an exact date. I think it's just like sometime this year is what they said. We got shafted by Light Gallo. What was he called? Uh, I don't remember getting him getting shafted by a Light Gala character. I do remember uh, Hunter Cerise uh, was paying for him. <laughs> Very much paying to the point where he, he spent so much money that he just didn't want to say how much he spent. It was too much. It was a mid gala. Hmm. Rumored release date is October seventeenth. Oh dang, that's a month from now then. Yeah, they'll they'll probably if it is if it is October seventeenth, they'll definitely announce it on Tuesday for sure. He did the same thing. Didn't want to say how much he spent. Was a guy and he was a blade. I'm guessing Galaluca. Galaluca is the only light blade I can think of. Yeah. Hmm, I don't. I don't remember him having struggles with Galaluca. Hmm. I mean, I didn't catch everything. I wasn't able to see every stream he did. So <laughs> it's possible. I I could. It, it probably did happen. Got shafted hard. Ouch. Yeah, the shafts be pain, especially when you go and put money into it only to still get shafted. Uh, Christmas Inaho from World Flipper, why you be evil? <laughs> that that was honestly probably the biggest shaft I ever had in a gotcha. Is freaking Christmas Inaho. Spent like spent. I mean, I don't spend too much on gotchas, so, like, <laughs> to other people, these numbers are probably baby numbers, but <laughs> I went over 100 on su er, on Christmas in Ajo. Freaking nothing. Got every other Christmas alt but her. <laughs> Got them multiple times, too. <laughs> Oh, it hasn't happened to me at all. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> I bought the little animation thing because I want it pulled up. I want to be able to do stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone higher than 60 on a gotcha banner. Yeah, no, you've, ne you've never gone that high on a gotcha banner. Nah. Nah, definitely not. You you wouldn't spend crazy money on the 20 million gotchas you play. Nah. <laughs> She's... Oh no, I've been bonked. Man. Why would you bonk me? I didn't say anything. I said you did it. So what do you mean? <laughs> there was totally no sarcasm in the voice. Totally. <laughs> now I aggressively eat chocolate. Yo, chocolate. I like chocolate. Chocolate good. Is it Hershey's chocolate or just other random brand? <laughs> oh, I got like a perfect emote I could do like when I get stuff thrown at me. If I'm prepared. I just have to be prepared to do it. <laughs> we 
but yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh boy, some excitement be going on outside my door. Hmm. Sports? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There was a, something hype happened on something. I don't know. Maybe sports? Maybe something else? I don't know. Uh. Hmm. You like all these poses. I like the pose. I, I need the I need the big keybinds for most of these. <laughs> Cuz yes. Cuz yeah. <laughs> I walked to my window and was like, oh, look at that beautiful grass. Very beautiful grass. <laughs> Mom was like, maybe you could go touch it. <laughs> I'm like, well, back the bed. Yeah, bed comfy. Bed nice and comfy. Why spend a hundred dollar on a gacha when you can get new console game? That's mostly my mindset. Honestly. It's like, sure, of course, I do have my moments. I went I did have that moment. I went above and did over a hundred, but for the most part, I do kind of be like, I don't want to go over like a price I'd pay for like a full on game for just a character in a game. Ideally, granted, whale whale moments still happen. I did spend like forty or fifty to get Yoi Mia back when she originally came out in Genshin, uh, and then I of course do like a lot of the like monthly packs in games because usually those are just really good value. So I I just do them because like why not. It's a free to play game, so like doing some like doing paying like monthly for like what would replace maybe like a monthly subscription to be able to make it so much easier to get characters. Not a bad that's not a bad thing for me. I feel like that's fair. How long consecutively did you do the daily one dollar summon in DL? I did that for like I wonder if I reached a year of doing that in a row. I don't know. But yeah, I would buy the... I forget what the pack was called. It was like... It was like a weekly pack. You bought it, logged in for like a week straight, and you got tons of Dimantium. And that the Dimantium from that week pack would practically be enough to hold me over for a whole month and it was like a five dollar pack like i'd get a f full month of daily discount for five bucks so like 30 summons <laughs> it was so freaking worth i just always did it it was the most worth thing ever and the amount of five stars i got from that was pretty good too I got quite a few. There was times it came in very clutch. And I would usually just wait till the end, like the last day of a banner before doing summons. Unless it was just a character I so desperately wanted, I couldn't wait. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of times where just my daily freefold, or not freefold, but daily single, discount single, would just give me the five star. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Calling stream elements cute. It's gotta, it's gotta advertise my Discord, you know. It's gotta do its job, or else, um, I'll destroy it. 
I will erase it from existence if it doesn't keep doing its job. So it better keep doing its freaking job. <laughs> or else. Do I have a menacing looking pose? I don't seem like I do. <laughs> Man. I mean, I probably do. I just gotta dig into the un unnamed. <laughs> unnamed poses. Getting Ting Young vibes right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why'd I do that pose of all poses? <laughs> I'm going to counteract that. I'm going to make you all forget about that by doing a nyah. <laughs> nyah. <laughs> That's pretty nice. And they they still have the t the other Pokémon ones too, the uh Pokén ones. If you uh, pay, I think I forget what you got the Twitch Prime, I think? You get those token ones for some reason, which I'm shocked are still there, but okay, cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, I should probably wrap up in a bit now, because dinner is most likely ready for me to go eat, so yeah, I should probably go eat that, because it's 9 o'clock at night, so... Yeah, dinner's likely been ready at least an hour ago. <laughs> at least. <laughs> so. Yeah. Could probably go get that. <laughs> yes, then we has chat. E. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably wrap up now, so, uh. Hope everyone enjoyed the stream. Uh, hate hiccups. Oh, do you have hiccups right now? Uh, that's not the raid button. Do we have raids? Hmm. Yes, but very recent already raided people. I don't think I'll raid. I think I'm good without a raid. Uh, yeah. Hope everyone enjoyed stream. Uh, there won't be a stream on Saturday, so I might compensate that by streaming tomorrow, because I am off tomorrow. I know I said I'd stream yesterday on the last stream, <laughs> because I was off yesterday, but that ended up just not happening, because I wasn't feeling it at the time. So if you're wondering why there wasn't a stream yesterday... After I said there would be the stream before, um, yeah, I just, I got, I went to my computer to, like, considering streaming, like, around the time I would be, and I'm just, I was just like, no, didn't feel like it, just didn't, wasn't in the vibe, didn't have the vibe to do it, which was, oh, uh, it was odd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing random poses because, yeah. Gotta give my character some movement. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll get one of those freaking, uh, what's it called? Oh, what are they called? Those little, there's like that little thing you can put on like your desk that like tracks your hands. I know. I'm forgetting. I'm blanking on the name of it right now. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Oh. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to wrap up. So. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you. 
next time I stream, which will have a chance to be tomorrow. Or it's next week. I don't know. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.